G'day and welcome back to Stitch Up and another episode of Factorio. Uh, yeah, this is our Ice World series and I'm recording these somewhat back to back these last two episodes because last episode we really got into making um, products that head towards robotics and so we started making engines and red engines and I'm really happy with the way the factory is sort of starting to look. Um, but I don't think um, yeah, I think we really need to crack on with the next part of it. And that next part is going to be sulfuric acid. I'm also a little unsure about what I'm going to put on the liquid bus. And so at the moment, we've just got uh, lubricant. And I think I'm only going to have lubricant, sulfuric acid, water, and possibly the the advanced, the, the oil, the petroleum, uh, maybe petroleum. Um, but I'll see about it. I don't think I'm going to ha have heavy and light oil uh, here because I don't know that they're required. But then again, robotics might require them. And if so, I'll bring it down. So it is going to be interesting because we are doing all of the oil processing, uh, the advanced oil processing up in this area here. Um, and uh, so advanced oil processing up there. And then that's all heading down on the bus this way and across straight down into our main bus here. So uh, you can see water coming across there. So it's going to be absolutely lovely. Uh, this episode, let's get into sulfuric acid production so we can get into robotics and, and the um, uh, the robotic flying frames I believe they are so please jump in enjoy the stitch up intro and I'll see you in just a sec Okay, so uh, one thing to note is, yes, the factory, as we discussed, is being starved of um, iron plates. So we'll need to be looking at iron plates at some point. Um, and that is on the list of things that need looking at um, very soon. Uh, and of course, we did have the conundrum, are we going to use iron plates down here? Or are we going to use them over here? And I'll have to see about it. Maybe this episode, after we make the batteries, we can look at some lasers and see whether or not we can be clearing, um, clearing some of these bases out. Um, um, with uh, laser turret creep um, that could be good but we'll see about it um, we've got a bit of stockpiling going on here this is good Every, not, everything's not too full which is nice we did a little bit of overflow here and if you have a look there it's still not completely um, like we're still allowing production to happen um, but um, it's not completely full so one is full two is full three is just starting and then these guys are just starting as well um, and uh, so we've got about four full out of 20. So this is a module of 20 boxes um, and we've got four out of 20 sitting there. So it means that we should have a fair bit in these guys here. So this guy's sitting on half, this guy's sitting on hardly any, and this guy's sitting on plenty. But we're going to be getting into that today with making that last um, that last one. Uh, and that's going to be... Um, well, yeah, here's, the, here's that... Uh, is the lubricant there so we're going to be making um sulfuric acid so i don't think i've got any of these no i don't so let me see what i need to make uh some of them and that is in the machines and it's going to be a ooh, steel furnace it's going to be a chemical plant well i can make one and then what do i need steel plates uh, okay well i think i'm going to want to make a few of them so let me let me go and get some steel plates uh i'm just going to go here and just see if I can mm, not really can't really do that maybe I could do this just see how many I can take off this just going down hmm yeah we're really we're really struggling oh here we go this will make a few of these guys at least which is nice okay and as we're running back I could now go okay um it's gonna be chemical plants one two three and four and just make four more of those um and then we'll get to flying robot frames which is going to be the next thing that we really need to get into red bat uh, it needs regular batteries and red engine units which we sorted out last episode so that's all pretty good we just need the um um, what do we need? We need the batteries and batteries are going to be with the sulfuric acid here and then that's going to be in a chemical ah, in a chemical plant as well. So I think that's sulfuric. Uh, yeah, the batteries are going to be made down on the bus, but sulfuric acid is going to be made here. So let's find a nice little bit of spot and we'll make one of these guys. I want to put this a roughly. So let's put it here nice bit of room I don't mind the room that's uh, great and we want to make this into sulfuric acid and for this we are going to need uh, water and then we're going to need to tap into 
So sulfuric acid, I'd like to look at it in this view. We're going to need um, iron and sulfur and essentially we can put that on either side of. So what we'll do, iron and sulfur, is it iron plates? Um, yeah, it is iron plates. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Well, uh, let's get the, let's get this. In fact, have I got, yep. I'm going to make a few of these guys, yep. So we'll put that there, because that's really what we need. Um, and what's it going to be? It's going to be water, yep. Oh, there's water there. Okay, so we've got water sitting on the bus because we needed it earlier. Uh, that means we can get rid of this one. And what we can do here is just grab this, and it's going to be to here. And then that way, um, we now should be able to continue the water flowing that way. And now if we go here it'll go just to this side let's make it there and then do that and that flows water in there uh, now here I'm just gonna want to do this like this and then I'm gonna see where if I could do that coming out at the right angle um, I was thinking yeah, what we might do with this, something slightly different. See, this is flowing downwards, so I'm thinking what we'll do is a couple of things. Let's do this. Uh, no, let's do this. Yep. And we'll go there and there. Uh, but I'm going to put this guy here and just have it on one side. And then what we'll do here is pick up these guys on this side so it's gone. And I'm just going to manually insert that now, just so we can get rid of them out of our our, our little bit bit there. Um, then I was thinking, if I go like this, just have them going all the way across, building for expansion. Um, what we might do is put a fast inserter in here. Can I insert where the water goes? I think so, because then I want to put a pipe like this to continue that along. I think I want to do that, and if that's the case, then I want to do this and just a little bit out like that. Um, now, let's see about this. So what we wanted to do is put uh, one right in the middle and the other one right in the middle. Now, let's do it there. No, let's do it here. Uh, I want to tie it with this one, so it's going to be there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Next one might be a little bit closer and we'll put this up here and we'll see. So, so far you're getting uh, water and you're getting that one and now you just need plates which are going to come in here. Um, so don't really want to put right here but I don't think I have a huge choice on this one. Um, plates, 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 plates. Do we want to do this like this? Might as well. Where is, how's the squashiness? Actually, I'm thinking I might just want to tap this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to tap this here, uh, which is not the best way to do things, but it's happened uh, ad hoc, but nonetheless, we'll do it anyway. Um, and then I think what we want to do is, yeah, let's get creative here. So um, we do this to this and then this to this and then these guys are heading upwards so if we go here to here uh, there to there <laughs> um, it's not bad I think that's all right um, let's head up here so that should be good these guys are good these guys are good coal keeps moving nicely so we do it nice and tidy let's do it nice and tidy like this watching I don't accidentally put it on this side of this belt and that'll put these guys up here and that should bring me the sulfuric acid now I've got this guy heading downwards but I don't think I need it so I'm going to cut them off I'm going to start cutting off the bus a bit now that looks like uh, it looks like lubricant has stopped and I you know it seems to be stopping and starting but I guess what we need to do is scale up um, yeah so let me do let me do a dot here um, did it, did it, yeah, I'm going to put in, I think what we want to do is have it go 
uh, here to say there and I think this one because lubricant is there so we want it to come to here yeah let me do it next to the water Let's sort of That'll help me to at least see what's going on, so that'd be nice. You can see the water flowing through here, which looks quite nice. You see the water flowing through there. Now this means my sulfuric acid will now be coming down. Um, so let's get this guy going and we'll follow it all the way down to the bus. Yeah, and uh, try and get it the same as these guys. And you can see the little symbol working, which is nice. Um, then I'm gonna just do this like, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go and get a few of them. Can I make some? No, I'm just going to get them from the bus. Uh, I've got these bricks here, so let's continue, please. This. Pick up the bricks. And while we're here, plus key, and it's going to be uh, down one, and it's going to be this. So let's continue this along. Um, hmm. Well, we're going to put... Uh, Look, we've got another run there, so let's do this. Let's do this then. Let's come across here. Go like this. Oop, that's not even close to where I wanted it, but it's not bad, because then I can do this. Okay, and then let's put this down here. So this is at least helping me run down. I mean, this will probably all be just tidied up by the robots at some point. So let's put that down there. And if I need to run down, at least I can do that. Okay, lovely. Now help me to get around a bit quicker. So I want to pick up all of the pipes of the two varieties. Uh, plate, uh, no, I don't really need any um, any of these belts. I think I'm all pretty good. And I might just pick up, while I'm there, I might just pick up some more of these. Yeah, And that's going to be lovely. Okay. So I think we're getting, <coughs> we're certainly getting somewhere. Oh yeah, this is, this is great. This running is a lot faster, so this is good. Very good. Okay, that's nice. Um, yep, and we're just back to here now, so this is good. Uh, okay, so let's put in one of those, making sure these pipes don't get um, bled into each other. But if I do that to the, here, you know what? Let's just do that and here. So you'll go across. So it's going to be like that. And we'll put a pump in at the same spot as well. So these are the two two products that I really am going to need down at the bus. And we'll see how they get in there. Um, oh, waiting for robots to get rid of all this stuff. Try not to manually get rid of too much of that stuff there. Um, power lines is a good sign. Means we're close to the pump. Somewhat. The spacing here is uh, ad hoc. Not too familiar with uh, liquid stuff. Uh, we'll go one extra. And I really want to change it so they're not right next to each other, but I'll keep next to each other anyway. Um, okay. And uh, it doesn't have the product in there, so that is interesting. Ooh. So you got the product here. Oh. Can I connect systems with different fluids? Ah, lovely. Okay, in that case, get rid of this. Ah, because of that there. Okay, brilliant. Um, well, what we'll do here is... Okay, we'll put the pump slightly away, like this. Yep. And we'll do this guy to here and just see if we can get rid of that yep is it connected no it's not so we'll do that brilliant now we're getting somewhere um and we'll do that to there with this bit here yep lovely so you got the pump happening there which is nice and these guys are coming down Okay, so we're getting into the battery situation here. And this is good because now we've got a nice robust system where we've got batteries being made. Ooh, as we go, we can get rid of these cliffs, which are nice. 
Um, but yeah, we've got a nice system where we're making these products, which are going to be called for by other other production lines. And the idea is that we're making them in plenty on the bus and trying to just get ourselves geared up for this. Okay, good. So we put these pipes in earlier and we haven't got these doing anything at the moment. So I'm just going to take those two out. And we may not need anything down here. We might put petroleum in, but at the moment we don't have anything. Although it wasn't bad reserving the space for them, but... Um, yeah, we'll see about it. Uh, here to here. Yep. I feel like we need another pump at some point. Um, and we will have another pump, I think, at the next turn. So we'll do this again. If we're going to put a pump, let's do it here. Let's do it there. And do this guy to here. And grab ourselves connector. And here to here. But then there to there. There. Doing the same sort of thing as we did a, a bit earlier. Um, and we'll put these connectors in here, which is nice. And so that's a pump moving it along, which is great. Um, and it's bringing this stuff down is, is the stuff that is really time consuming. We'll just get a few of those made up. Evidently, we probably need a few more. Although this is probably the most work I'm going to be doing moving liquids over a long distance. So... Um, We'll see. Uh, let's just do it like that. Okay, that, that's perfect. Now, sulfuric acid, we're back on the bus. So if I have a look here, um, I want to make myself, well, we want these flying robot flame, frames. So it's batteries is the next thing we need to make. So it's going to be copper and iron plates and then sulfuric acid, but they're made in chemical plants. So it's a pretty straight up, no byproducts. Everything's pretty straight up. So let's come over, over here. And let's just get the next production line going. And in fact, I think I'll make a little bit of room in between so we can maybe put something in. Um, so if I get a chemical plant, I do want to make this upwards. I think upwards is nice with the chemical plants. Uh, where are you? Oil refineries, oil refineries, chemical plants. We've got four of them. Um, oop. Okay, so let's put this lined up with this guy, but let's put a nice little bracket across yep that's going to be good okay cool so you're going to be making please i think batteries which is interesting you're making chemical plants in batteries i don't agree with that um sulfuric acid's meant to come into one of these so we'll do what we did earlier uh can we just no we can't so let me grab a few pipes Okay, there we go. So we're going to put pipe in here and we are then going to do this. And now I want to do it just as I did it earlier with this line. Uh, actually, I want to do this line here. Yeah, this, this line as we did a little bit earlier. And I want to put a drop out there, a little thing here and a blue inserter here and a battery is coming out here. And these guys can be heading this way, which is nice. Yep. And I'll put these. Put this up to the middle of it. Yep. Just put them up a little bit. Oh, we could put a down one. Yeah, we'll just do a down one for this for this section here. It's just batteries. Um, right, so now what we need to do is have these guys coming out so let's do it from here and it's going to be either side is going to be this so what we'll do is we'll have this um, continue this alongwards and continue alongwards okay and we will do here and then do uh, an undergroundy like this and we will then go that puts him on one side if he does that yep and then we need to do the other side so we'll go here do so this guy coming around and he comes into there cool okay so that's lovely this guy can just come across connect up um, hmm. so that's not getting where it needs to now so let's just do this guy coming up let's go up two 
they can be right in the middle there so that's good everything's kind of working and now we just need to get our liquid uh, I'll put the liquid right next to this I think yeah let's do it here so if we go it's gonna be ah so you need to be oh, this to here which means we were gonna put this right there Which means I need an extra one here and an extra one there and a blue this section which is nice so you're getting what you need yep and you're just needing uh, this stuff let's do it with lots of room yeah <clears throat> trying to stay away from the big areas of the bus um, it could go quite a bit in here, but I'll just do it there. And so we know what we need. This is the line here, which is good. So that should work. And so you should be doing that. And now we should have success. And now we should be getting batteries. And here we go. Batteries are coming out. And you can see the color going out there, which is nice. So batteries are now coming out and stockpiling and what we'll do is we'll do this and batteries are going to there. Cool. Okay, so we get battery stockpiling, we've got red engine stockpiling and everything is going quite nicely. So happy with that guys. That is a lovely, uh, lovely little bit there. Rocket fuel's really struggling at the moment. Um, I was thinking, um, I was thinking I might just, before we get into robots too much, I might start making some laser turrets as well. Um, I think I'll do those now that we've got the batteries going. So if I have a look here, laser turrets are here and I want to make them and I would normally make them on the bus, but they need steel batteries and um, steel plates. So I'm not going to make them on, not the bus, the mall. I'm not going to make them on the mall. Um, I'm going to make them just here and have them being picked up by robots here if we need to. Fed into the system. Um, so let's get ourselves a little laser turret factory going on. And uh, let's think about where the bus lines are here. Go remember, I've got this clear area here. I've got these guys coming in. Um, and um, yeah, we'll get... Oh, you were meant to head upwards. Oh, no. Yeah, this is all meant to go upwards not across oh how did I muck that up oh I've mucked that right up okay I'm gonna have to fix that guys yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that oh no okay everything well that's all right we'll just fix it quickly I'd rather get it fixed to be honest um, we just fix the orientation of everything um, okay cool so let me do uh, let me do this again quickly just very quickly um, so it is going to be chemical plants and what we need is heading this way and let's do it there and just see how we go so you're going to be making this oh, chemical plant what's that flamethrower ammo yep so you're going to be making batteries yep okay cool um and we need repeatability here so let me just do this is the this is the inline and this is this this line here which is ready to go um in fact i'm just going to pick all these guys up as well because that's not how we're going to want that um we all want this heading downwards and i don't even know how that's going to go there but what we can do is put this here and then have some overlap uh, but it's probably more going to be like that. Just have one in between each of them. And that's in line with the other one, which is nice. So that lines up nicely. Um, okay. And now we're simply doing... Um, well, actually, this, this could work out quite nicely. Because what we're doing is... we need this to be I think I need it to be all you need to be elsewhere okay let's do all this like this and move everything one across yep and so what we'll do is we'll go 
So I was going to have it here, and now I'll have it here. So lining up with this one, and here. Excellent, and that means that you're going to be doing this. Um, and you're going to be making batteries. It's going to be uh, into this bit, so it's going to be like this. Yep, and that, and a blue. And a yellow coming out. And this guy coming down. Yep, and we want to line up with it at this one, so that's nice. Okay, so pipe is pipe extension that is there, and then this guy's going to be grab it in, and then we're just trying to make the next one. And we said there would work, and now all we need here is to get the next bit. And what we might do is just do a little spits and put this guy into here and that should be it so yeah i had that mapped out in my head and now now that's a repeatable area and that's good sorry about that that did take us a little while okay cool um now let's get these guys going along yep you're going along to there and next thing we wanted to do is grab ourselves so that's that uh, next thing we wanted to do is grab ourselves um laser turrets and laser turrets are gonna be if, am i really struggling with lights here just put a few of these guys in yeah god uh, the lighting situation i hate it i really don't like it um yeah lighting lighting mod is coming need to put that on uh okay cool let's have a quick look here so next thing was going to be laser turrets um so you're going to be um made in any uh, assembly machine you're going to be lots of electronic circuits lots of batteries and lots of steel plates so we're going to want um high quality one uh what do you need again <laughs> i just said that okay uh circuits and batteries and steel plates one, two, three, and four. Yeah, I'm going to make this. I think I know how I'm going to make this one. Okay, let's just make it. So, lasers. It's going to be um, circuits, batteries, steel plates, and each needs a line. So, circuits, batteries, steel plates, and each, each will take a line. Um, so, this is not bad. So, what we'll do is we'll have a line coming in here. And a line coming in here, and a line coming in here. And we will then go um, this one. Ooh, I need to get myself some more things from the from the bus. Uh, do I need to get yellow inserters as well? Yeah, let me just make a few of those. Got blue inserters being made. Um, that, and then we'll put uh, an out here. So out, but an in here. So this is this way. Uh, you'll be a laser turret. Okay, and now we need to get all the products. Cool. Okay, circuits is always going to be an interesting one, so we have to do it like this. Uh, yep. Yep, so circuits is going to be here. Cool, and then where we would normally put this here, so we do this one back, so it's there, then we do uh, undergroundy first, and then undergroundy here, and then, ooh, science. Um, what do we got here? Utility science, yellow science, should we start that? Yeah, let's start that and see how it goes. I think science has been building up there so you can see it moving, but um, it's not a true representation of the throughput of the factory uh, just yet. But that's that. Uh, what else do you need here? Um, it is uh, laser turrets. It's going to be batteries and then steel plates. So let's do the batteries here and we can branch them off. So what I'll do is I'll just do a, uh, a branch. I'll do one there. And I will then do a 
like this. Um, and I am just putting it on one side here, but that's fine. Yep, that's not bad. So you're doing that, you're doing that. And I'll grab myself this and just see. So here we're going to just see if we can get these guys sorted out. Let's put him right in the middle. Yeah, and that kind of gets there to there. Let's do there to there. That's good. And we want to do an output line here. And this is going to be laser turrets coming into here and then stockpiling. So I'll just do it like that. Um, and at the moment, I can just go into a box. Uh, do we have boxes? Yeah, we've got a few boxes there. And we're going to say laser turrets. Let's just get two stacks. Okay, what was the next thing? It was steel. So there's battery going on there. I think it is... I think we need to get some modules in here because it's taken a bit of time. Although, is he putting a battery out every time? Yeah, he is. One... Yeah, he's going pretty quickly. And that's without any modules. So that's not too bad. We'll get some speed modules going into here. Um, and the laser type, but he's going to take quite a few batteries. So that's why we need to... But then again, lasers, um, really, I don't need too many of them until I put them out on the fence, on the actual fences um, or walls. Um, okay, you need steel. Okay, let's go... And oh, this bus is really extending, isn't it? The bus is really extending, which is nice. It's nice. Uh, but, yeah, we've got to start to get ourselves a little bit of, um... Let's put two of those guys in there, just for anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to get ourselves definitely some more, um, materials. Okay, what are you doing? Where are you going? Steel. Steel, 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 steel. Okay, and steel should be nice and easy. I think I need all these products. Oh, is that liquid? No, no, that's just the liquid going upwards. It's not, it's not a uh, problem. Yeah. Excellent. Just puts more stuff into my inventory, doesn't it? Okay. Excellent, there, there, there. Uh, rightio, so if we do undergroundy to here to here, then spin it to there to there now, make it nice. I should be able to now be able to get my um, my pipettes and just go a bit silly here. Uh, like this. And we're in. Okay, so that should be laser turrets happening. Let me get myself, oh, there's the science completing. Just get ourselves a few lights here, just because. Um, definitely want to, you know, speed this up. We need a module factory going on as well. Um, but now we should get, like, you've got a blue inserter going on, so that should go pretty quickly. Um, I mean, and we've got our first laser turret off and running shortly. Uh, and then we can see about it. So where's the very first laser turret being made? Yeah, it is. So if I pick up a few of these greens, and then I go and pick up some reds, I should better make some modules. Yeah, I've got plenty of reds here. Let's carry the reds all the way along. And then while we're here, clear out the reds. The modules still take a while, but nonetheless. Nonetheless. And let's see about speed modules. Can I get speed module 2? I can. Uh, ooh, speed module 2. Need blue. Ah, blues. Lovely. So let's just get these guys. So if I need... Um, let's just make 20 of them by hand. Because we're not crafting anything else by hand at the moment. So we'll just make those guys. Um, and how many you got there? So far it's just 2. But that's not too bad because now we can start to use those um, and that will be absolutely lovely. So uh, the last thing I want to do this episode, I think, is the because I can expand everything, everything and kind of maximize it. But the last thing I wouldn't mind doing is just grabbing myself um, uh, part of part of the robot stuff. Uh, if I do part of the personal, is it personal robots? Let me just see. Uh, Robot flying frames, and we've got everything we need. So really, here it's going to be one, 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 and one. Steel, battery, um, circuits, 
G steel battery and circuits are here. Steel battery circuits. Steel battery circuits. Look at that. Oh, that's interesting. I, I kind of think I could have these guys. I wonder if I could have them. Um, yeah, I could have these guys here. And then up further... Because flying robot frames is its own bit. And these guys will just take what they need and let everything else through. We can up the battery thing. I don't know if that's going to be a bit of a... No, I think I'll just do it separate. I think I'll just do it separate. Uh, flying robot frames. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this just... Ooh, low density structures is not what we want. Flying robot frames is next. Um, uh, and then the engines. And in fact... Oh, yeah, it is. It's a bit like this, isn't it? It's a little bit like this. Because what we can do is... We can tap... I mean, I'm really tapping... This will spaghettify somewhat, somewhat but... We can tap this. And then I'm going to have this, right? So this is going to put it on this side. Then I'm going to have this guy going like this, right? Where are you putting it? Which side? Where is it going? It's on the inside here. So if I do that, right? You do that, then I will do this on the outside. Not too bad. A bit of spaghetti. This is proper spaghetti, actually. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm gonna make this as far as we can to be there. Yep. Uh, and. Let me just see here, because what we need is two different rows. Uh, we need that one, and we need this one. Yeah, that's not bad, because then I can do that. And uh, flying robot frames. Okay, we can do this. Yep. And flying robot frames is going to need the steel and batteries. Steel and batteries, and we'll do the same thing over here. So is it steel and, sorry, flying robot frames, steel and red batteries, which are here. Steel and red batteries, which are here, right? And I need these guys to be a bit... Hmm, actually, you know what? We can sneak a line in here. Yeah. Okay, well, let's bleed this. Bleed this line. So we'll put it down a bit further. Not that far. And then what we'll do is we'll put this guy here. And then heading straight across. Yeah. Across, across, across. Batteries, batteries, batteries. And now, get rid of this guy. And say here and then it was steel wasn't it yeah it was so if we go if you go to there and that means steel is the next thing do it slightly different I could have put it straight into there but I'll spin it across do that so you're going red batteries and steel and that's that side and that means we put this heading downwards. Yep. So if you go blue, and we'll put them here so we can double them up. So if we go blue and blue, with the red coming out, and then we go ooh, here and here as the little power source. That kind of works. Um, And that means flying robot frames are now being produced. Uh, 
and that sets us up for our robot factory. And if we put these guys in here, so you've got some speed modules, and then if we put these guys in here, which takes your speed modules, and then we put these guys in here, which takes three speed modules. I think that kind of works. Uh, and I think we want to do here and here. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to want to do these two as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope, there's their module one. And they seem to be keeping up, but I think I want to replace them. I do need to make the Series 2 assembling machines. Um, so I do need to make those. But I think we're getting there. I think we are getting there. This has been a bit of a giant leap the last two episodes. Um, the bus is coming along. So how many of these laser turrets have we got? Because I think what I'll start to do in between episodes is just seeing how I'm going to war with the laser turrets and hopefully that'll go okay. Um, I need to look at personal robotics because I've not ever used them before. I've only ever used regular robotics and when I do a laser turret creep, uh, where am I looking for with this one? Yep, when I do laser turret creep, I end up, uh, what do you got, how many? Let me just put, uh, 11. Oh, 11 is lovely. Yes. Let me put them here. No, uh, let me put them here. Uh, put them there and do this as lasers. Yeah, so they're next to each other. So they're there, which is good. Um, and actually, you know, what? I'm going to put them here so I don't have an issue. So they're all away from each other a little bit. Put them here. This is just so I could see with the yellow bullets and then put this guy there. Okay, I think that's better. Nope. Uh, yellow bullets. Get rid of you, put you there. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, we've got we so, sort of got a few of those and enough to be able to creep out and get and get some of the um get some of the, the targets, um, which would be quite good. So yeah, I was saying that um I'm not super confident in um, attacking these guys with personal robotics so when I go out and do them look at these big biters but when I go out and do them uh, and attack them I do my laser turrets by just building them and by hand whereas if I've got my personal robotics I can use a little br blueprint and just make that and just deploy it and have it done but I've not done personal robotics so I'll have to have a bit of a play with it in between episodes and perfect it but the other thing I'll do is I'll scale up these fact the factories a so proof of concept in the episodes and then just build them up and scale them up in between episodes which is nice and have lots lots happening and uh, then if we if all goes to plan I'll start to clear away either around here um, or start to clear away around here now my preference is over here so if I can get into some of these bases quite easily these bases are going to be really difficult to clear out so if that's a problem you've got one two three four five six and a half or seven big bases that are very difficult to, to get with very high level biters. Now, seven of those, as opposed to if I need to get around here, one, two, three, and then maybe four or five little bases, but three massive ones. So I've got to see whether or not I can do it. Either way, if I try and get this guys, I'm gonna to have to get over there as well. So that's good. Um, so yeah, this is nice. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to leave your comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Stitch Up. And I look forward to seeing you in the very next episode of Factorio. This is our Ice World series. Cheers.